Five new sharks have entered the water. Theo Jurgensen. Jennifer Tilly. Philip Grissom. Fraz Chaka. The Prince Poker Baby. Scotty Wynn. Finally, we get to do something new and exciting, and they get a little bit more incentive to bluff people. This might have potential to be very painful. I'm more concerned about how I get Mr. Grissom over in that cage. I don't like to do that, Theodore. Anybody at this table, they all have a good shot at the million. Jenny, what are you doing? Shark cage winner. That would be fantastic. Win is great. Lose, but you have fun. Me, I win, baby. Plus, an unknown looking to make a splash. I'm going to be this little fish that got all these sharks. It's pretty neat. A cage and the bait. Winner take all, a million dollars. One million, no deals. Million dollars. One million dollars, baby. One million for first, zero for second. I love that. We're back in the beautiful Bahamas for heat two of the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. With $1 million for first and nothing for the rest, there were bound to be fireworks from the start. Heat one didn't disappoint as Gareth Coles, the online qualifier, took on some poker heavyweights. Oh, I don't want to go in the shark cage. God damn, Jason, don't do, do it. He visited the cage twice. Oh, in the cage. <laughs> it's your big blind. You want to take it or not? <laughs> I've got the needle. All poker should be like this. But he still came out on top. Well, when the ace came on the turn, it was an absolutely amazing feeling. I knew that I'd booked my seat to the final and the best odds I'll ever have at winning a million. So Gareth has made it through to the final in London. Can our next qualifier do the same? I am Dana Doms from Halifax, Canada. I'm 46 years old and in between careers. I really don't have any visions of grandeur. I had, you know, nominal success uh, through 04, 06. I had a bout of cancer back then, and while I was recovering, I played a lot of poker online. And my first experience uh, at the World Series of Poker, I was the bubble boy. And then the next year, I was out by supper in 06. And then I really uh, put it to the side. We almost didn't come. My wife's father just passed away very, very recently, as six days ago. We shed a lot of tears over the past few days, and then at the very last minute, Lisa decided to join me, and um, it's very meaningful to have her here for me. He would want us to be here, so we're gonna give it our best shot and play in his honor. Well, if Dana's gonna make it to London, he'll have to do more than just play poker. He's got to get through five sharks and survive the cage. Poker's answer to the sin bin. Before they act on the river, players have to signal whether they are bluffing or betting for value. If you bluff your opponent on the river, you send them to the cage and force them to miss a few hands. Just imagine putting the guy in the cage. He sits over there and feels horrible for a round, comes back, and the very next hand he gets bluffed and has to go back there. Like that, that's enough for me. And it's the same deal if you call your opponent's bluff, you put them behind bars for an entire orbit. When they hear the word, I call baby, they just get up, go through the shark cage. To keep things moving, we're putting players on the clock for every decision, giving them 30 seconds to act. Now, if they find themselves in a particularly tough spot, these should come in handy. Throwing in a time bank chip extends the shot clock by 30 seconds. But players only start the game with two, so they'll need to use them wisely. Dana will be taking the one seat at the table. Where will the five sharks rest their fins? I think I'm gonna try to go for the three and the four seat, because I can see the light is better. Four, yes! I don't know a lot of these players really well. I played with Faraz Jocko once at a television table. Me and Jennifer Tilly have kind of gone to war a couple times, and we do end up in some big clashes. So I'm going to be looking out for him. I like winning. I'm an excellent gloater. I like it. I like it, Phil. Theo is very experienced. People underestimate him because of his gray hair. <laughs> I really want to send Phil to the cage. That would be fun. I'll take the six. 
See, that scares me. He just, he spots it right there. More of that coming. I kind of have this reputation of being this crazy maniac. I'm just the goofy guy with a wacky hat. <laughs> I'm looking forward to putting Jennifer Tilly and Scotty Nguyen in the cage. You're not going to see Scotty Nguyen in a sock cage, baby. Come on now. Scotty don't bluff. And nobody can bluff me. <laughs> I can do them all, baby. <laughs> Who do we ask for a glass of cold water and a for shot of tequila? <laughs> <laughs> me, you can ask me, Jennifer Tilly. I'll be right there. Time for today's qualifier, Dana Darms, to take his seat. <laughs> hey! Here we go. Dana, how is that? Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Dana. Good luck, Dana. And Good luck. you too. Thank you. <laughs> I want to put someone in the shark cage. I know I'm the target. It was like, who is the most bluffable person at the table? Not the guy in the hat. The one with the boobs. That's the one that we should no, bluff. No, gotta be Scotty Wynn. <laughs> Scotty Wynn. No, I don't like We, we want to give them something good to look at. Yeah. They don't want to see us. <laughs> There's not even a chair in there. That's, like, so annoying. So here we go with the first hand of Heat 2. I'm first to act under the gun. Don't do it. Careful. You say what you do, what I, I do, baby. That's Look, I only got put two chip, you, you, you lie. You see, baby? It's not sexist, he calls everyone baby. Everyone starts this heat with a million chips. The Hollywood star has raised, and Faraz has called. Already trying to mess up my image. I look like Faraz. Wild, crazy, and unpredictable. Faraz with two pairs, Jen with just a pair of threes, even though she's got a piece, she might not want to play a big pot with it, or she may decide she wants to keep up her wild, crazy, unpredictable image. I mean, it's Bride of Chucky, not Bride of Checky, am I right? Harass has called Theo Faults. Said, careful, I'm watching you. I'm watching Bound again as soon as I get home. Ooh, it's a club on the turn. Jen's picked up a flush draw. Oh boy. I smell shark cage. I really want to see that. I feel it. it. You guys want to see me in there? Or her? Uh, I don't I care. care. I, if right. it's not Phil, I don't care. <laughs> Phil's my favorite, but after that, you all got second. Faraz's clock is running. Remember, you get 30 seconds for each decision. He calls. It's a club on the river. That's a flush for Jen. Like baby Moses, Jennifer gets there on the river. You know what to do, right, baby? I know what to do right. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and there goes the hand. Yeah. There are buttons under the table. God, I love this. This is, this is so, so much fun, yes. <laughs> here we go. And in this case, Jennifer has pressed the value bet button, not the bluff button. So no cage or danger for this action. And this is a great run out for Jennifer. Nothing Faraz can do. He cannot fold, especially with the shark cage in play. He calls. And he finds out the hard way. Jennifer's no liar, liar. She wins the first hand of the day. Nice. See, that's so disappointed wow. not to seeing anybody. In <laughs> I had so high expectations there. Wow. We have that cage. We should have like a dominatrix with a whip come out. And be <laughs> like all this <laughs> you're in there. This show is over budget as it is, and that's expensive, I'm told. Action has been folded around to Jen. Who's got King Nine. Okay. She raises. All right, Jennifer. Let's try again. Yeah. Uh-oh. You know, it's a psychological tell when you hoist your chips aloft. That means you have a really strong hand. Fills ahead with Ace Eight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna give you a chance to bluff at me. She watch too much TV, baby. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think Germans should only be able to have half the time on the shot clock because they think faster. Clean in space. I have nothing, so I'm just gonna check, and you can bluff me. <laughs> can you please sort of wait for one more, one more card, Mister? Okay. Oh dear. 000. I was like Jamie Gold disease. I talk too much. Oh, wait, I do have something. Hold you are Jamie Gold, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Um... This is actually a pretty believable con. Ooh. That's Ooh. Jamie Gold move, baby. <laughs> I didn't really see that one coming. 
Still under pressure. God, I love this time clock. <laughs> like nice, under normal circumstances, we could have been Every sitting here for six, like, six yeah. minutes. Not I saying Phil is like slow, but some people might be slow. Everywhere should it be like that. Ow! Uh, baby, show blood, baby. No, I, I have to get to the river and send someone into the shark cage when they least expect it. Oh. I made a lot of really brilliant movies, if I say so myself, but I didn't want to be like a celebrity that dabbles in poker. I switched all my acting ambition to my poker ambition. The kinds of movies I was getting offered, and I'd say, well, would I rather do this movie or would I rather play poker? And the answer was always play poker. Shark cage winner. That would be fantastic. They would say, Jennifer Tilly beat out all those brilliant players. She must have got lucky. <laughs> Even a blind pig can find a truffle once in a while. Jen's murdering this heat so far like a satanic doll. There's a raise from Faraz. Good hand for Theo. Theo frightens me because he has Team Pro on his shoulder. Team Pro? Theo, he always do that. <laughs> he wait for like eight seconds left and he raise. Theo has re-raised. It's back on Faraz. And he re-raises. He's Farazing it. Told you. Theo calls. I love this shot clock. It goes boom, boom, boom. Usually this will take like half an hour to it's this like, point. It's like tennis. Yeah. yeah. Ace of diamonds. 150. Theo has the best hand here, top pair. Faraz has not much. He's firing almost dead. Theo doing a little acting of his own. He calls. And I tell you what, there's a lot of chips in the middle, and Faraz doesn't have many left. Oh, that's interesting. Faraz now has an open-ended straight draw. Come on, and he shoves. Oh. He is Farazing the pants off of this. I need a count. Theo's clock will be paused. And he's requested time. It got awfully exciting, awfully oh. fast. No rivers, don't even get a shark cage opportunity. Oh, I threw both. both. Give me just give me loads of time. 339, that's pretty much nothing compared to. Where did you lose all your money? How can I possibly be ahead here? Uh, it's Faraz Jaka. He's wilder than Van Wilder. Well, Faraz is certainly living up to his reputation. But can Theo make the call? No one's heading to the cage, but someone could be destined for the exit. Even after you win your first seat, there's no money guaranteed. All the money's at the end, so you gotta play poker. Here at heat two of the PokerStars.com shark cage, Theo Jorgensen has thrown in two of his time bank chips. I need a count. While he decides whether to call for us jackers all in. I can't, I, I can't fold this to the toilet. Like, it, it's impossible. People's gonna think I'm insane. Am I really, am I really that good? Can I really fold this one? Nah. It's a sick hand, six handed, yeah. 15 seconds. No, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to fold. Theo calls. Ace queen of heart, baby. Ace queen, yeah, not of hearts. The John dead. Eight on the river. You can't spell Jocko without JK. Faraz has seven outs. That is not one of them. Faraz Jacker, the first player out. Alright, no problem. 
I don't think I was ever laying it down. I was trying to just cry a little about it and moan and whine if he had a better hand. But in the end, I was always calling there because it was him and his image. This tournament seems awesome. This is probably like the most fun tournament I've ever played. I was really excited. I love when you got to think outside the box. So Shark Cage makes you think outside the box. So these five players are now one step closer to the final where there's a million dollars on the line. Theo is the current chip leader. I really like this hands. Pretty powerful. So I'm just gonna fold it. Good one, Dana. We need a new dealer. Scotty's raised with Ace King. Oh, Phil's got the same hand. Suited. He might be on drug. I'm sure. He, he got to be on drug. Yeah. Not only does he have Michael Jackson's hair, but he also used to have a chimp. Maybe he still does. All in. All in. Re raise for Phil. Call him, baby. Oh, Ace wow. King of Diamonds for, for Scotty. Wow. Same hand, same hand I had the last time. Scotty, you, you don't know how good I run, right? <laughs> you don't know. Baby, look, you only have why one flush draw, I have two. Scotty's got parts and spades. <laughs> you gotta look at that. That's one way of looking at it. Yeah, you have one, I have two. I have good karma. No worries. Good luck. You win, Let's see the flop. I still got a little chip left. <laughs> oh, I saw that already. One diamond. Uh, one diamond. He just got cut. He just got Two cut. diamonds. Oh, no, don't do it, baby. Now we actually have a sweat. Oh, yeah. I want it. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm putting in the time. Do you have some side no, action that the diamond's getting work. hit? Uh -huh. No way it hits. Oh! oh Did you bun? Oh! oh. oh wow. Phillips made a flush on the oh. river. How much you got, baby? Wow. That was gruesome. Phil gruesome. A big double up for the German high roller. This tournament is a winner takes all tournament. So it plays like a cash game. You can make a little bit more moves and play a little bit more aggressive. I really like that. I've been having a good year, poker-wise, but also uh, in life. I'm a more happy person every year. I'm planning on opening up my own charity, so you will hear more about it when, it's, when the work is done. I don't want to say too much about it. I think we have some nice ideas. I hope I can uh, find some supporters in the poker community. I think um, what needs to be changed is the mindset of the people. I changed a lot of my attitude in life and maybe that makes me winning a poker too. If he wins a million dollars here, I wonder what charity he'll donate to. Well, before you can be in with a shot of winning a million, you have to win your heat. So Theo was raised here and Jen calls I'm watching you like a hawk, Theo. Fine by him. Theo's paired is eight, and he bets it. Jennifer might feel the need to peel one off here. A card, get your minds out of the gutter. Theo's still ahead. And he may shut down now that he's been called. Ooh, Jen's gonna bet. Turning her hand into a bluff, maybe? Maybe setting up that river bluff. Theo calls. We're going to the river, the cage is in play. Which button's Theo gonna press? Why would he be betting? Oh, he selects value bet and then checks. Weird. Time for Theo to show the winning hand. No, why didn't Jen bluff? I should have bet. All right. 
You've got no idea how little I feel like coming over there. If I had bet on the river, would you have folded? There's no way in hell I'm folding and walking over there. <laughs> just because. Oh, dear. The game is pretty easy. If you want my chips, just you got to push the button, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get your chips, Theo. Right now, Theo is the chip leader. I knew you didn't have an ace. I was watching you like a hawk. Like Nobody a watches hawk. like me. You push the button. If you're watching me like a hawk, you should have pushed the button. Baby. I should have pushed the button and yeah. gone all in on the yeah. river. He would go in and yeah, you yeah. win an extra 100000 But it's you very got difficult me. to play against the chip leader. That's you, Theo. You're the chip leader. Yeah. Theo calls. Not for long. But you know this game, it changes around. It changes on the time. I'm afraid of you now, so... You're not or you are? I am afraid of you, oh, you yes. You are. That sounds good. Nothing for Theo. A chip. Top pair for Jen. Uh-oh. I hope you don't have a 10. I checked. Tough board to get value from. Oh no, that, diamonds. that sucks. Time to push button. Uh oh. And Theo is pressing the bluff button. Uh... If Jen folds, she's going into the cage. If she calls, see ya, Theo. Uh, what are you doing? That's too many chips! <laughs> How much Theo is that? Holy. That's a lot of chips. I really don't want to go into the cave. You probably have two pair, like a jack and queens or... A jack and queen, that's good. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I really, I don't want, I'm not, all right, I call. Bluff court. That's it, Are goodbye. I'll see you later. Theo shows four. Theo goes in the cage. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah, baby. The walk of shame. Do we have like some shameful music? Oh. Excelente. <laughs> There's no way I would have tried to pull that move in a regular tournament. You look good in a cage, Theo. Being in the cage is pretty frustrating. You're disappointing your kids, leaving them alone, and you, you go to prison. I was kind of furious at that time. Theo, I get your small blind. I take care. No problem. It's not fun standing out there while they're actually playing for your big blind and small blind. I should have bet at a million. It's a mistake. There's no way she's calling for a million. <laughs> It's time, right? I'm back. No, 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 we play very slow here. <laughs> We're that enjoying one seeing you suffer. Seriously. We have to enjoy him in the cage. It's like when you put someone in the stocks, it's no fun unless people throw tomatoes. I'm only playing the river from now on. You stay in that cage. On to the next hand. Dana has raised and Scotty has a short stack. All right, baby, come on. Scotty is all in. All right, folks, then. How much is it? When you come back, somebody Let's might be gone. Let's do it. Get no okay odds. Beat that, baby. Scotty oh, is at risk and nine, behind. Nine. Wow. <laughs> Scotty's got seven, eight suited. I'm loose. Loose Connect player. Connector, super sexy no, hat. I'm loose. Nine queen, that's Antonio's favorite hat. That's Antonio, not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Antonio doesn't have a hat. <laughs> As Fondiari, you better reconsider. That hat's pretty sweet. Queen high, still ahead. So good for Dumsy. Looking good. Kind of like that fedora loose and tie combo. Oh. Ooh. The black hair? Dana He's drawing dead. As uh, soon as you guys sit down, I know. Scotty win. Scotty. <laughs> <Bad luck. laughs> More like Scotty lose. <laughs> Good luck, baby. Good game, man. Thanks. Yeah. Bye, Scotty. We'll see you on the next time. You get it, baby. You get it. <laughs> Scotty win KO'd by the online qualified Dana Darms. How do you fancy taking on the Sharks for a shot at a million dollars? Find out how you can qualify for the next series of Shark Cage at PokerStars.com.
They say revenge is a dish best served cold. Well, Theo Jorgensen is at absolute zero. Frozen out for an entire orbit, now he wants retribution. I was kind of furious. I want to send somebody over there. Did not have a good feeling about Tilly because I felt she was unbluffable. But I really want to send Phil over to the cage. It's heating up at the PokerStars.com shark cage. Release the Jorgensen. He's back. <sighs> I feel like vengeance. Yeah. Like, you feel I mean, humbled, yeah. don't you? You feel smaller. No, I don't. Right, yes. I, I feel like I really want <laughs> three guys, all of you, in the room right now over there. Well, Theo slipped down into second while he was in the cage. Jen's currently on top. Theo, many people have many things that they want, and they are not going to achieve that. One of, one of the things I want is you over there, Tilly, <laughs> in that cage. I'm not targeting you, Theo, just because I feel like you're humbled and smaller and weak from being in the shark cage. I just happen to love my fantastic hand. You can re-raise me if you want, and we'll just see where, where it goes from there. It's, it's unreal how much you can interrupt Mr. Grissom by talking in the middle of his thinking. Oh, Phil does re-raise. What? Well, I have not got in an altercation with young Philip yet. We're four-handed. It's about time. How good can your hand be? I think I may be pot committed. I'm just making you sweat. Love my hand? Oh, gosh. OK, I fold. Uh, oh, did you bluff me? Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. I saw it when it bounced. I saw I, I did not see it. I didn't see it. Oh, God. I knew I had a better hand than you. Both of my cards were higher than a four of hearts. Even if you had pocket fours, that's not a good hand. I don't know what they teach you in Germany. Pocket fours is not a good hand. It's a pretty good hand. I'm going to recover from that minor setback. Oh, I would love to send you into the shark cage again. I just want to go to the river here. <laughs> you still got bar marks on you, jailbird. I do jailbird. not want to lose you before the river. You uh, Did you just call? <laughs> Okay, I'm, I, I will, I'll check that obvious blood. Trust me, I'm checking down to the river. And Are then, you really? Okay. Then we're going to have then, fun. And then we'll see. Right. Then we'll I can see, go straight back we? there, back and forward like a table to <laughs> ping pong. Two pairs for Theo. Yeah, first. Story's checking out, but it's going to be tough for him to bluff the river. Club check. You, don't, check? Uh, you didn't have to club check because you're a pro. Cal okay, check too. Theo still playing tens and sevens. And he's setting himself up to get called pretty thin, just not this thin. He has indicated that he is value betting. Uh, 300,000 from Theo. <laughs> oh my God. Well, see, I know I would fold normally. Could Jack I possibly be the best hand? <laughs> Jeez, it probably is. We got four, four, seven, ten. Mr. Big Shot over there. Okay, I fold, I fold. No! No! <laughs> no. 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 What did you? What were you pressing they under the table there? Ah, <laughs> uh, you think you're pretty clever, don't you, Mr. Team Poker <laughs> Pro? Oh, I tried. Ah, oh, these two. Ah, uh, Jennifer. Theo, you know he's from Denmark, so I call him the Raspberry Danish. She's extremely, uh, extreme. We have that cage. We should have, like, a dominatrix with a whip come out. But she's a funny character. The one with the boobs. That's the one that we should bluff. I don't think I insult her if I say that she she likes attention. Poker's all a leveling game. He knows that I think he's tricky. She's not just capable of playing very aggressive. She's also capable of laying down some really, really big hands, which could be funny. I would love to put him in the cage again. I think it's very, very likely to pull off a three-barrel bluff. He's really, he's really evil. <laughs> it started off, you started all the bad vibe by if, calling. If you knock me out of this tournament, we're going into the boxing ring. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna knock you out, mister. You're probably favorite. Okay, I'll make passes. <laughs> 
Don't bluff my girl. Don't bluff oh. Phil's girl. <laughs> Phil Locke and Jennifer Tilly have been a long time pocket pair. A raise from the qualifier. Called by Theo. I call. Jen's in as well. Here we go. All right, guys. All right. And Phil makes this a four way party. Ooh, a family pot. Jen takes the lead by pairing her 10. Everyone checks. The turn card is a six. Jennifer's pair of 10 is somehow the best hand four-handed. 150 green. Nah. <laughs> Action is now on Dana Darms, the online qualifier. He folds. Theo has a flush draw. And the great thing about Theo calling here is that he can either hit his flush or bluff the bejesus out of Jen on the river. Those times running out. Only five left. He calls, which means we're going to the river, and once again, the cage is in play. Great play waiting so long, too, because it looks like he's getting all cute with an ace. Oh, it's a diamond. Theo has a flush. The action's been checked by Jen. She thinks she's giving Theo the chance to bluff at this. Not a bluff. He presses the value button. Pretty tough to bluff when you keep making hands stronger than King Kong's. Big bet. Did you hit your card on the river, Theo? How could I not have the best hand? Um, 15 seconds. I need more time. You wouldn't bluff me again because you saw what happened the last time you went into the show. I'll one of these for 50. Uh, it would be a good buy. Mm. Oh, I played this so bad. I should have just bet out on the flop. You called 50. You've got to have an ace. How horrible it would be to. Uh, then I have two, four, six. Time. Yeah, it's not time. <laughs> I've got 16 minutes left. Call, I call time. 16 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I call. Can't blame her. Ace. I got in the shark cage! What? And you know what? I knew you picked up a flesh You're draw. You're not going in. No, who goes in the shark cage? Neither. Nobody. No one Nobody. goes in? No. no. I needed the exercise. <laughs> I think she needs an exorcism. Theo, the big chip leader. The great thing about the shark cage is that it's not about surviving. This is about getting all the chips. I would really like to give a couple of needles, bluff a couple of guys, and then in the end win this one. My life as a poker player is I'm a dad of two, and the whole thing pretty much involves around those two kids and my wife. And that's it. I'm basically just a boring dad. I started off playing poker back in 99 and 2000. I remember doing a bluff for the amount around two euros. And I felt I was gonna die because everything was pumping. <laughs> I guess looking back at it now, I, I feel like, yeah, obviously I've gotten a lot better, but the stakes has gone so much higher. I truly enjoy playing the tournaments on the side, but to me, it was mostly cast games where I thought, okay, now I can do this for a living. On to the next hand. Phil has raised. 40,000. Dana's got a decent hand. A call. I'm Dana's doing everything call. you do, Theo. Theo over to Jennifer. You fold. I fold. You fold. I'm all in. Jenny, what are you doing? Jenny, get to the chopper. I call. Wow. Oh, that was fast. It's a race like Predator versus Commando. 
Uh oh, could get ugly. Ace of clubs. Canadian on Canadian violence. Come on, flop me a six. Did anyone fold an ace or a king? Okay. Probably not. Yeah, I had a king. Shut up. Shut the front cover. door. Do you fold aces? Me? No, no, I, I, I folded. I folded a six. Poker gods, are you there? It's me, Jennifer. <laughs> I'm behind. I'm behind. I'm only 49 percent. <laughs> oh, am I? The I thought you were about to say I'm only 49. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. If I'm gonna lie about my age, I'd make myself younger. This guy needs to go back into the shark cage. He didn't learn anything there, did yeah, no, he did not. <laughs> I'm only 49. You, I'm only 49. You're supposed to think about what a bad boy you are when you're in there. You're not supposed to get all feisty and come out and take we all my chips. Can I use my time button now? Broadway, Broadway. A couple sixes, just right it's under. right in the come window. It's a diamond. I got so excited, I spilled the beer. Oh, please, Nine please, put your Halifax. Send her home. Don't Send her to her room. Me. Go to your room. I'm so scared. Go to your room. Oh, come on. Please, one hand. time. I want to go to London and see the queen. Come on. Ace. No. Oh, no, on, no I need a come 10. On. I need a 10. Jennifer's picked out, I've got picked a trillion fades. out. Fades. Fade it. Oh, no, fade no spades. Oh, yes. No, I need an ace. What? No, I need an ace. No, I need an ace. Ace, 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 ace. Don't do it. Ace. Let's have a big round of applause for Shouldn't have asked to see the queen. Well, that was really fun. Nice playing with you. Nice playing nice with you. Nice playing with you. I'm sorry. Aw, uh, good luck. I Thank hope you. you take it home and you Go can buy it. your wife a diamond ring or no, <laughs> she already has one. Buy her like something she likes. A like. couple of houses. Nice yeah, lady. Good it. luck. Now it gets interesting. So we're down to three, including Dana Darms. Can he make it two for two for the online qualifiers? The final table beckons with $1 million on the line. The PokerStars.com shark cage has lost its jabberfish. Jennifer Tilly found herself in deep shark infested waters and even she couldn't talk her way out of trouble. I wish that I had won, but everybody can't win. Apparently only Theo Jorgensen can win. Theo frightens me because he has Team Pro on his shoulder. I'd almost rather send someone to the shark cage than go to England and win a million dollars. I mean, oh, the degradation. You saw how much he hated it. He couldn't stand it in there. I was like, yes, I inflicted pain on my fellow poker player. Woo! Theo goes in the cage. Yeah, baby. I hope Theo doesn't win. He's my nemesis. You saw how he came after me. He came after me. He thought I was the weak link. I am not the weak link. I am Jay Tilla the killer. And he better remember that the next time he sees me. You guys hear that? That's the sound of Jennifer Tilly not being here. So, now we are three-handed. The shark cage is no longer in play. Ah! Phil has called. The online qualifier, Dana Darms, raises big. Uh, yeah, that raise is huge. Would he really make it that much with a monster? Phil calls. Dana pairs his four on the flop. Phil is still ahead with a pair of sixes. Check. Dana might be better off checking behind and trying to get to a cheap showdown or this. He's moved all in. All of this reeks of a hand that ain't very strong. And Phil calls. Whoops. Snapped off like a pair of takeaway chopsticks. Wow. Wow. Then, uh, how, however, this is going to turn out. Fun Dana playing. Is risk. He's got a pair of Dana fours. is the player at risk. He needs a five or a four to survive. And he looks stressed. Just one card to come. He's drawing thinner than Lara Flynn Boyle during pilot season. A 
qualifier is out. There is no Dana, only Zool. Obama. Nice call. Yeah. Okay. I needed to double up fairly quickly, so I gave it a shove and I got unlucky. It is what it is and I had a lot of fun. So it's the end of the road for our online qualifier, Dana Darms. The journey continues for Phil and Theo as they play for a seat in the final. Theo, good game. Good luck. And as we go heads up, Theo has the advantage. One of these guys is now only eight players away from a million dollars. Theo's first to act. More than good enough for a poke heads up. That's a race. And Phil calls. Yeah, sure, why not? Phil takes the lead with a pair of threes. Hard to make a pair. Theo's going to continue this flop a lot. He bets. Phil calls. We go to the turn. Theo might be shutting it down now. Too bad for Phil. Theo has picked up a nine high flush draw. And he gets there on the river. Oh man, this guy lives on the river. Well, this is going to be a thin spot for value. Sometimes a better hand would fold though, and sometimes a worse one would call. Weird bet. Theo calls. Philip shows a pair of threes. Threes and sixes, excuse me, two pair. Theo shows queen nine with a nine of clubs. Oh yeah, yeah, Theo, I misread the board. You did. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that explains it. Well, the chances is you're still calling something like the same bet anyway. Yeah, I would have checked. And I'm betting the same. Yeah, but then I have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Theo is a long time pro, very experienced. He knows all the tricks. Phil is good. Phil knows he's good. All in all, Phil is pretty much one of the best in the world, if you ask me. It's a winner takes all, one million, no deals. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. How much do I have now? You, you know how much you have, Theo? Close to four. Chip leader. Phil has raised with queen 10. Theo has a pair of nines, and he re-raises. Definitely good enough to three bet. Phil's hand's probably too good to fold. I call it. So we go to the flop. Theo's still ahead. Better flop for Theo than it is for Phil. Phil only has queen high. His clock's running. Seems like a loose peel, but there's a lot of backdoors he can pick up, and he can always be setting up a bluff for later. Or he could just pair his queen on the turn. There's always that. Phil now a 95% favorite. 600. Phil's definitely not folding now. And Theo may just give up on this at this point. Can I get a count now before you turn? What? 625. I'm all in. Wow, Theo shoves without knowing what the river card is. Well, I was wrong. An ace hits. Phil may once again be figuring that Theo is not going to play an actual strong hand this way. Theo's pulling the old Dana Doms. Can Phil find the call? Got 
Nines. Calls. Theo says he's got a pair of nines. Queen ten oh, for, for sake. Philip. He's gonna take this part uh, with queens and jacks with an ace. You double <laughs> three. <laughs> How the because he's one of the best in the world. He has 625. Well, that reverses total. things. Oh. 625. Phil now the big chip leader. What a horrible queen. What a horrible ace. What? Ace was horrible. <laughs> this is insanely tough with that. What? Time. 30 seconds is, is tough. Wow. <sighs> 170. It's a weird raise amount. How much are you playing now? Five, 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 a little over 1.6. Plus that. Four hundred and ten. I'm all in. Four hundred ten thousand. All in. Five. Wow. Not strong. This is pretty much a flip. Theo's got the best of it though. But he's at risk here. Let's see an ace. If Phil hits a king or a queen, he wins this heat. Three, and the queen of either that or th a <laughs> loads of diamonds. That's what a million dollars can get you. Bleep loads of diamonds. Come on, king. No. In the door. Shut the window, shut the door. Uh, Unlike Theo Jorgensen, this is not looking good. He needs an ace on the river. Three outs. He doesn't hit. Three of clubs. Let's yes. have a round of applause nice. for both of our players. Theo, very tough battle. Congrats. I don't think I can get away from those nine. Phil Gruesome wins Heat 2 of Shark Cage. The German high roller will join Heat 1 winner Gareth Coles in London, taking the second seat at our final table. In the first uh, two hours, I think I couldn't say a word because it was just going crazy the whole time. So I just laid back and played my hands. So yeah, but it's always fun to play with these guys. I would, I would like to have a home game going. I got a one out of eight chance now, and uh, yeah, suddenly um, I'm playing for a million in London. Well, with six places in the final still up for grabs, it's time for six new contestants. Ah! Ah! This stupid cage. If you weren't bluffing. Get in there. Get that cage warmed up.